In this video, we're going to be talking about how diesel engines can run well over a million miles and why they run longer than gasoline engines do. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that diesel engines do run longer than a gasoline engine can. You might get 250, 300,000 miles out of a gasoline engine if it's taken care of properly. Here's a few warranty downloads. Here's a cat diesel engine with 972,000 miles on it. Here's one with 1.3 million miles on it. Here's one with 1.5 and a half million miles on it. And these are cat certified numbers. These are capable of incredible mileage lengths. And I want to discuss the three differences. And they are design differences differences between gasoline and diesel itself, and use differences. So why am I holding this up? That's the main bearing journal size on a Chevy 350 engine. Now a Chevy 350 engine is a fairly large engine, and it's in millions of vehicles. This is a Cat C15 main bearing journal size. This is actually a C15 main bearing. A little bit of a difference? I think so. So I'm just going to show you that there's a lot of differences in the design of a diesel engine that's going to allow it to run longer than a gasoline engine ever could. One being bearing size differences. Obviously a lot bigger. Bigger crank, bigger camshaft, heavier components, heavier duty components. Um, Higher oil capacity. A C15 usually takes about 10 gallons of oil compared to about a gallon of oil, maybe a little less in most automotive applications. Most things on a diesel engine are gear driven. That means there's no timing belt to break. There's no timing chain to stretch or break. Gears do not lose, unless something fails, they don't lose their timing. Also the water pump is gear driven, which means you're not gonna have a belt break and it's gonna overheat. For the most part, some do have belt-driven water pumps. There's also normally multiple thermostats, not just one in a diesel engine, which means if one fails, you're still gonna get some coolant flow, uh, reduces the likelihood of an overheat. Piston cooling jets, most diesel engines have piston cooling jets, which is a small nozzle, I'll show you a picture of one. Here's a piston cooling jet. You can see that it is a small nozzle that sprays up onto the piston. That sprays engine oil on the bottom size, bottom side of a piston, which helps keep it cool and lubricated. Also, the valve train on a diesel engine is solid roller. There's no hydraulic lifters to fail. And most of the cam lobes, lifters, rocker arms, valves, everything is larger and heavier duty. Now, the second difference and probably the most important one as to why a diesel engine can run longer is it has much less cylinder wear over time. And the reason for that is diesel itself is a light oil. Gasoline is almost more of a solvent. And solvents, if you ever got them on you, they tend to burn. Also, they're very poor lubricants. Diesel is a okay, it's a diesel, it's a decent lubricant. So in your cylinder, gasoline is eating and deteriorating the oil that's helped lubricating your piston rings. Diesel helps your piston rings. And that really reduces cylinder wear. And it's a lot less volatile as well. Uh, you know, it basically cannot pre-detonate. Not only there's no ignition system, uh, diesel's injected at the point of combustion opposed to gasoline where you have the air and the fuel mixture mixed in during combustion or compression. Now, if you throw a match on a little pool of diesel, it's going to put the match out. Diesel's not very volatile. But if you throw a match on some gasoline, well, now, another reason and the third and final reason that diesels run longer is they operate typically at a much lower RPM range than a gasoline engine. Did a little chart here we're going to show you. 
So here's our little comparison. A diesel engine typically operates in the 1300 to 1600 power band ratio of RPM, whereas a gas engine operates 2000 to 3500 RPM. That means if you're going 70 miles an hour, a diesel engine is operating half as many RPM as a gas engine does. Also, they typically go through much fewer heat cycles. Most engine wear occurs when an engine's warming up, something like 75% they estimate. Since most diesels on highway applications are started once or twice a day and they'll run several hundred miles between shutoffs typically, you have a lot less warming cycles on that engine. It'll get up to a certain temperature and it'll run at that temperature all day. A lot less wear on the engine. As opposed to a car where it starts, you drive 10 miles, you shut it off, you go to lunch, you come back from lunch, you go home, you go out and buy groceries, you go to the park, you come back, it goes through tons of heat cycles. It's very bad for your engine. Those are the main differences between a diesel and a gas engine, and that is why they can last a lot longer. But wait, there are there's one misconception about diesel engines. Just because they can last longer doesn't mean they necessarily will. I hear this all the time, mostly from RV owners. They say, hey, look at this video, a uh, million and a half miles on a diesel. If I buy a diesel RV, I will never need to buy a new engine. Well, this is the answer to that. <coughs> a diesel engine can fail just as quickly as a gas engine if it is not maintained properly or is subjected to an overheat. And the number one killer of RV engines are overheats. They happen all the time. Most RV engines I see where I work have less than 100,000 miles on them. And in the last month, I've changed two engines with less than 100,000 miles on them, both in RVs, because of overheats. Here we have an RV engine with less than 80,000 miles and tons of blow-by due to an overheat. So only a diesel engine can run as long as it can if it's properly maintained and kept cool. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you.